Welcome, everybody, and please be seated. Let's get comfortable. Before we begin, I want to put one fact into evidence. We have the most extraordinary registrar in the country with the most beautiful voice. Thank you, Elizabeth. I want to welcome all of you to our 2016 commencement ceremonies. Today, we look back and forward. We look around and within. We are sad to leave and excited to get going. We celebrate, we recommit, we listen, we shout some more, we gather, we commence. We conclude, we go to move and to be moved. We give thanks and we search for meaning and guidance as our graduates cross the stage today. To help guide the way, some of us turn to prayer, others to poetry. Today, we deploy both. Thus, before I continue to introduce the program, I've asked Professor Stephen Davis, our distinguished Russell K. Pitzer, Professor of Philosophy, to honor us with a special invocation. Professor Davis. I'm going to read a brief quotation, and then I will lead in prayer. This is one of my favorite religious quotations of all time. It's not even from my own religion. It's from a second century Jewish sage named Shimon Ben Zuma, who died too early to be ordained rabbi, and so he's not called rabbi. In this quotation, it's a brief quotation, he asks, four questions, answers each question very briefly, and then gives a brief text from scripture to support what he has just said. He doesn't mention the word leadership, but I think this quotation is all about leadership. Who is wise? He who learns from everyone. As it says in the book of Psalms, from all my teachers I have grown wise. Who is strong? He who controls his impulses. As it says in the book of Proverbs, better one who is slow to anger than one with might. Better one who rules his spirit than the captor of a city. Who is rich? He who is happy with what he has. As it says in the book of Psalms, if you eat, of the toil of your own hands, fortunate are you and good to you. Who is honored? He who honors everyone. As it says in the book of 1 Samuel, to those who honor me, I will accord honor. Please bow your heads. Lord God, we come before you today with a wonderful sense of joy and gratitude. We thank you for this beautiful day and the even more beautiful occasion that brings us together here. We are happy here together as the CMC community. Students, professors, administrators, staff, trustees, alums, parents, and family. We thank you, Lord, for this institution that we love, Claremont McKenna College. We also thank you at this time for the joy of maturing, of maturing, of growing, and learning. And I want to thank you for these students that I see here before me about to graduate, for their dazzling abilities and tremendous accomplishments, for the hard work and perseverance that they have put in over the last four years, for the strength and guidance and grace that you have given them, even though maybe they didn't know it, and we thank you also for their hopes and dreams. We ask that in the years ahead, you will allow them to live lives of justice and compassion. And as Ben Zuma said, help them to honor others in their lives and thus to honor you. 
In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Steve, for that moving invocation. Yes, we give thanks. First of all, thanks. None of us would be here without the courage and leadership of our veteran founders, the generosity of time, expertise, and resources of our trustees and alumni, or the vision and commitment of my predecessors. We are grateful that, for that continuing legacy of leadership at the college. But most of all, we're thankful to two extended families here today. First, our internal college family, the faculty and staff of the college, who supported and challenged, who shaped and championed our 2016 graduates every single day of their four years. Let's give our faculty and staff a hand for all of their support. Second, we are especially thankful to our students' families, the siblings and grandparents and cousins and friends, but especially the parents, for their love and financial sacrifice, for their <laughs> rides to and from, for their snacks and mac and cheese, for their coaching and help with homework, and most of all, for their empowerment of our students, the power of their belief in the extraordinary abilities of our graduates. Let's all give our parents and families a round of applause. As we celebrate today, we also look for meaning. If, all's, if all the world's a stage, what does it mean for our graduates to cross our stage here today? The world is flatter and hotter and crowded and conflicted. A whirlwind of goods and a vortex of bad swirl around us. Our polity and economy appear to splinter and divide. Extreme voices polarize over-personalizing the political, over-politicizing the personal, and this tests the mutual respect, care, security, and freedom upon which we all rely. Yet, we persevere. We are always learning, growing, resolving, innovating, doing our best to lead the way and lead by example. And our graduates are at the cutting edge of leadership, their empathy, their courage, their creativity. They make the world right, reduce the harms, solve complex problems with their interdisciplines, and lead within and through pl pluralism in times of conflict. Just look at our graduates' enterprises, from compressed natural gas to water, from financial literacy to nonprofit consulting, from microfinance to improving hospitals, all the way from Pomona to Uganda from St. Louis to Cameroon. Just consume our student research on the great minds from Kant to Madison, on the most important theories from economic uncertainty to scientific approximation, or on the world's greatest problems from violence to devastating diseases. Just look at our national and world championships from tennis, golf, and swimming to Model UN and mock trial. Just listen to the piercing questions of our students at the Athenaeum. Hear their multilingualism from Arabic to Mandarin. Learn from their example as they step up and inspire us to do better by and for them. See this, see this, and all of this, and you will know what drives our college to lead on this world stage. And our special program this afternoon reinforces what it means to cross this special threshold. Each student, prompted by Dean Uvin's challenging yet well-rehearsed pronunciations, he graduated from the Berlitz School of Graduate Pronunciations earlier this year. <laughs> the walk preceded by a diverse cast of leading voices. 
the poignant observations of our honorary graduate, the outstanding Pulitzer Prize author and New Yorker editor, David Remnick, the charming recollections of our student leaders, Catherine and Varun, the inspired counsel of our Alumni Association president, Sue Madison King. And right now, we turn to the very next special voice in our program, the poetry to add to our prayers of thanks, our own CMC Poet Laureate, recent winner of the Award of Merit from the Academy of Arts and Letters, CMC Professor of Literature, Henri Cole, who will deliver the inaugural Claremont McKenna College commencement poem. Thank you, Henri.